You ever like lay down for a nap, like a 15, 20 minute nap, and then you wake up like two hours later and have no idea where you're even at or what you're doing? That's me right now. So I got home about three o'clock or so, decided to lay down real quick. I'm gonna lay down, quick little nap, then I'm gonna give it a vlog for the rest of the day, and, and now it's five. <laughs> and now it's five. But there's still daylight, so we still have time to vlog. Don't worry. So in my last video I said for 2018, I really want to work on having a lot of this quality put into my car, making sure everything fits nice, everything is this quality, like a lot of this quality work into my car. So I'm starting that off today with my headlights and my grill. The fitment's kind of weird on both, and I'll show you what I mean, but I want to fix that. So if you look at my headlights here, this one, driver's side has a bit of a gap right there, and the pattern side really doesn't. So I want to go ahead and adjust that. There are um brackets to fit the e codes into the American route support, and I used Two of them on the bottom, and then the rest didn't fit right, so I used zip ties. So I'm going to try and adjust that one um, down a little bit, or maybe this one up a little bit. Either way, I can't decide. Either way, by the end of this, my headlights will be even. That's, that's the goal of this, have even headlights left and right. Now with the grill here, I noticed when I saw like Omar and Drone's cars, their grill strip actually fits all the way like into here. And mine kind of sticks out, you can see that. Mine kind of sticks out a little bit on this side and on this side, so I want to figure out why that is. I think it's hitting the headlights, so I'm going to lift the headlights up a little bit, try and put these in without the headlight first, see how it fits, and then fit the headlights to around the grill. So everything's like nice and snug and fits really good. So our first step here will be pulling our little vent before we're off. The grill is now out, takes two seconds. If you're ever having trouble taking your grill out, pop your top ones out first, so it's like hanging this way, then grab underneath and lift up and out. That's the easiest way to get it. You might have to get a flathead and pop these uh, the side tabs out, but for the most part, Pop those out, pop your top piece off, and then grab from the bottom and lift up, and it should come right out. Looking at the side here, my headlights also awesome need to go back a hair. Normally, all of this should be like lined with the fender, like inside here, like kind of like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that one too. And this one's out a lot farther. If you look, that one's out pretty far. So I'm gonna adjust those back further in and then up a little bit, I think, and then we should be good. Got the driver's side a lot better. I'm still moving back a little bit more, but it's way better before. Before I could fit a whole finger, and now it's literally just like a fingernail. So it's almost there. But look, there he's here. Why don't you grab your truck and bring it on back so we can see it in the daytime. Uh, Come on. Alright. Yeah, there you go, there you go. What I'm using as a reference for my headlights is actually the Jetta truck over here. So the Jetta truck here, we got even and even. And up top right here, we got even gaps right here and right here. And I'm coming to the side. You can see how the um, the grill strip right here comes right flush to this, and the headlights also right nice and in a line. Like I can't even put a finger on there. Like it's just all the corners inside. So this is what I'm referencing for my car. So the goal is to have the front of my car look as even as this car looks right now. Because this is all OEM and nothing's been changed. Oh, I think I hear a truck. Where is it? Look at this thing coming down the road. Yo, it looks so good. It looks so good. Got some sunset action coming through. It looks dope. Big old farm truck. It looks so sick. It looks so cool. That massive front bumper. So here's the big red girl in the daytime. Larry, give us the rundown. I explained it a little bit, but I'll let you explain because I know it's your truck and you're more about it than I do. Go ahead, explain. 87 first gen Dodge. It's got slant six, 3.7 liter, I think it's like 318. Uh, four speed, but lowered, axle flip, cut springs in the front, but that's gonna change. I like it, it'll work for now. Uh, long bed, single cab champion truck so it is super cool i like it a lot i really like it a lot like this bed this is an afa bed it's massive it's it's so huge like you i don't know you can fit a lot of things in here a lot of a lot of books like parts in there a lot of car parts lot, it's just it's so it's that's the, the biggest bed ever this truck is just really big it's a massive truck it ain't no volkswagen that's for sure it ain't no jetta truck but i mean it's, it's a truck though i mean it's all right it's all right i like it that's cool you guys the inside here could use some nice upholstery work, but it's cool. It's all the outside's red, the entire interior is red. Got them race car pedals. I see you. Four speed with overdrive. Just, this classic. And we're not sure if it actually has uh, 29,000 miles or if it's rolled over like six times. We're not quite sure. It could be really new or super, super old. One of the two, but it still runs. The motor goes in this. I'm swapping it. The 12 valve Cummins. So this engine's already been swapped once. So it was this before, right? It's the exact same motor. Exact same engine. So slant six. 
It's looking really small. There's a, there's a lot of room for things. I thought the Mark II 2.0 was small, but geez. There's a lot of room for activities. There's a lot of room here for activities. What is that thing? Why is this open? What is this? Race car, bro. Oh, uh, I don't know. That. Okay, Race I don't, truck. I don't, I don't know much Start about these engines, truck. but I feel like there's like, that should go to something. That's some sort of intake. We can put this engine here and another oh, one over there. Oh, it's probably for the factory. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of room in here for stuff. There's literally an here. There's an echo in the engine bay. That's how big that thing is. Echo! That's really weird. That's scary. We need more stuff in here. It shouldn't. It shouldn't echo. I can fit in this thing. Yeah, we can put. We can put a small child in here. Like I could totally fit. So what? Twenty-four valve Cummins. Twelve valve. Twelve valve Cummins. Twenty-four valve. Nah, twelve. Cheap. Easy. Be a little girl. Eventually, there'll be some black smoke roll call and thing here in here. But one day. Absolutely. So if anyone has any parts for a first-gen Dodge Ram, Larry needs parts. A bumper, interior pieces, lots of pieces. If you need parts for this truck at all, let him know because we need lots of things. Lots of things. Air ride, you know, the, the normal stuff. <laughs> the first kind of cold start in the Dodge. Thought I'd get smoked out and die. Yeah, that, yep, that was, that was not exciting at all. No, nope, not even a little, not exciting. Oh, you got a back window? Oh, you're fancy with your back window, huh? Wow. Oh, yeah. Upgrade. Wow, Upgrade. wow. All right, get on out of here with this thing. Yeah, it's quiet. Neither the exhaust, but still pretty cool. I'm running out of light at an annoyingly fast rate, so I had to bust out the, the nice bright spotlights here. But I got the headlights on both sides adjusted from on this side and on this side, so they're both in further to light with the fender there. Um, I wasn't take them all the way out, but I'm going to leave them in for now. I'm going to test it the girl back in and see if I can't get the sides to go all the way in. If not, I'm going to have to pull the headlights all the way out. Hopefully not. All right, so with some adjustments, the headlights are way better. Did you see this side? Did you see that side? Way, way better. Almost completely even. It's kind of hard to do with zip ties, but pretty good I got the grill better as well you can see how it's way further in on this side um, I think the problem is I just realized also there's no this grill is missing the clip and tab for this side and for that side so I think to effectively get it all the way in I'm gonna go behind it zip tie it and pull it in that way this will be like all the way in there and not sticking out and far and this side as well be able to go all the way like back there and out of the way so since this grill is missing the outside tabs that go here and normally go there they're both broken off I'm gonna use zip ties um, probably run it through this little gap right here around and make a little loop and then tie it to something back inside there that way this can be pulled in and I can have nice grill fitment because I'm tired of it sticking out it's trying to drive me crazy so I'm gonna fix that got my zip ties all set up I ran out of my big ones so I had to link a bunch of small ones together um, a little bit more work but this just still worked fine just finished up the passenger side as you can see here the line nice and smooth the grill strip right here matches up nice and even. Now it's not sticking out like way out here no more. And before this was like out here. So now everything's nice and flush, looking good. One more side to do, and we should be good to go. And there's nice and even still. So boom, and boom. All right, little touches, little touches. All right, after a little bit of awkward positioning and some zip tie magic, we got it. We got it, check it out. Boom, look at that side. Look at that side, nice and even, nice and even. The lights are on the same height. And this side, boom, smooth it in. This side, a bit dark, sorry, but smooth and grill strip in. So much better. It was driving me insane. And after seeing everyone else's car have it like perfectly, I want to fix mine. So now, that is way, way better. A lot of you may have never even noticed that on my car, even seeing it in person, but it's something that I noticed and drove me absolutely insane. And I would, ultimately was just too lazy to fix it. But now I got motivated. It's good now. But like I said, it's the little things, the little touches here and there, the little fitment pieces here and there, what really set a car apart. Peep the fitment. Peep the fitment. Look at the light fitment. Look at that with the grill. Look perfect. The freaking perfect. Ah, that makes me happy. A little stuff like that, that makes me happy. I've been sitting here for probably like at least five minutes just looking at the front end of this car, and I'm so happy with how everything lines up now. I love what everything lines like up. The lines are all just nice and even. Like, it just makes me happy. This, it just makes me happy. Just makes me happy. Some good old, some good old lines. Just some nice lines, you know what I'm saying? Just some nice lines all lined up. Everything's even, symmetrical. Mathematics and things. I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I'm absolutely exhausted. I was gone literally all day yesterday and from like six in the morning today until about three or so I told you that I fell asleep for two hours, but I am exhausted. I can't really do it much more. I just want I just want to fall asleep right now. But I do have some pretty exciting news. In the last video I told you guys about 2018 plans um, for Miley here, what I want to do. Most of you guys know, or almost all of you probably know, 
I've been looking for an auditor Ventura spoiler for so, so long. Now, don't freak out. I haven't found one yet. I, I did find another guy in the States who potentially has one, but there's not one of my possession yet, sadly. But in searching for um, the auditor one, like, okay, so every single day I go on Craigslist, um, eBay. This, I search Craigslist for, like, different states. I search the internet, like, top to bottom. I look through everything looking for rare parts, this and that. I found a lot of cool stuff. So no spoiler, but I found a lot of really cool stuff. But in searching for the auditor Ventura spoiler, I found another company which is spoiler are super almost identical to the Ottinger one but this company makes an entire full kit based well, not based off the spoiler but with the spoiler and the full kit and it looks really really good I don't think I've ever seen any mark three with this full kit I think I've seen the bumper one one time I think one time but other than that I've never seen this kit before and it looks so so good um, I found one website that had the kit listed but everything was discontinued so it doesn't help me out at all but I found another website based in the UK I believe it is and they actually have prices on all the pieces to this kit so I don't know if they'll ship to the United States I haven't checked yet but tomorrow I'm gonna get in contact with them and I think that's the right I want to go with Miley it's a full kit I like a full kit but yeah, I guess it's a full kit so it's a front end um, I think side skirts, a spoiler, a rear piece, and another front piece. So yeah, it's basically a full kit, but no one's rocking this kit. It looks so, so good. Um, it's a little bit expensive, so I'm not going to be able to get it like right away, but that is the plan for, for Miley here. I don't, I'm not going to tell you guys the name of it yet, because I don't want anyone seeing it just yet, but just know I have something pretty cool that may work out. I really hope it does, because I've not seen any Mark III with this full kit just of yet. If you guys have any guesses on the name brand of this kit, leave them below. I'm really interested to see if any of you may or may not know what I'm talking about. You might you might have no idea. I've only heard of this name a few times. Like I said, I've seen nobody rocking this case ever one time with a bumper, but see if you can guess it. But like I said, that will do it for today's video. I think we're like nine or eight away from 2,600 subscribers. That is literally insane. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. It absolutely means the world to me. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the thumbs up. If you're new, consider subscribing. Help us pass 2,600. Don't forget to be thankful for every single day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.